And then you were telling me earlier off camera about your experience with obviously you have you know a lot of geese and ducks and livestock out here and there's horses just over in the other pasture. Uh, so what is your experience been? Uh, we had a set of Haitians that showed up in the driveway, pulled in, laying on the horn. Hi, baby. <laughs> and uh, they were demanding to rent a chicken. They wanted to rent a chicken. Wanted to rent a chicken. So how was that interaction? How did that go down? Uh, when you try to explain to them that the chicken wasn't for sale because apparently it was for a little girl's birthday tradition, which I wasn't buying. So it just told them it wasn't for sale. They got very angry very agitated that we would not sell them a chicken, started demanding the chicken. It took my husband to run them off for them to leave. Okay, and how long were they sitting out here on your property demanding Probably that you get the chicken? about 15 to 20 minutes. And then your husband In had to come out? In a thunderstorm, uh, yes. There's a carry out down here, mm -hmm. and they live up this way. So they were walking down the street, dipped under the fence, chasing my little duckies here. And I found them, yelled at them, screamed at them, they left. So they were chasing your ducks on your property. They were chasing our ducks on the property. In broad daylight. In broad daylight. And then they came back. I don't think they were after the horses, so. <laughs> then they came back, tried to rent a chicken. The, it was a different incident. The, the chicken was one incident. The ducks were another. Okay. Yeah. Have you had any other weird experiences out here? Uh, we don't shop at Walmart <laughs> because they literally will shove you around, especially me. I'm not a very big woman. They like to just kind of push me around. Uh, they'll eat chips in the aisle way, sit them down, keep walking. They, they just don't conduct themselves in a civil manner. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you said you were from Louisiana and you have a lot of experience with, you know, the Haitian population and things like that. But what do you think their intention was, if you can speak on it, of them coming and trying to rent a duck in the middle of the night? Well, <laughs> I, I can tell you that there are some ritualistic practices that are involving poultry. It's not usually a, a spoken thing. It's a voodoo thing or a, I'm not sure exactly what they call it down there, but they do use animals as ritual sacrifices or in different, different ways. So, you know, as soon as they said it was a traditional thing, I was like, yeah, you're not getting my chicken. These are our pets. They're, they're not farm animals. They're our pets. They're my husband's pets and they're beloved pets. So we don't, we're not letting anybody take them more or less someone that is going to bring it back the next day? Yeah, no.